Hey everybody, so I wanted to talk to y'all about something that was brought to my attention from um from YouTube. I understand that a lot of people out here, all my subscribers that subscribe to me right now, granted y'all are subscribed to me, but not all of y'all watches my videos and not all of y'all even like my videos. This is why everybody keeps saying y'all need to keep up with the algorithm. Y'all have to... Like, please, if y'all gonna watch my videos and y'all like it, press like or at least interact with me or something because what y'all don't know and fully understand is how this works. Us making videos, it does cost a lot. And two, in order for us to get paid, y'all have to interact with us. Y'all have to like our videos. It's not just about subscribing and then leaving us alone. And that, which I think that's also messed up in unfair for y'all to subscribe to us YouTube creators, you know, and y'all not really looking at our videos throughout the whole time. Y'all not looking at the whole video. Y'all only looking at one or two minutes of it. And I know this. Don't think I don't know what y'all doing out here because I do because analytics, hello, I have the um YouTube app studio where they tell you everything, all the information about your videos and your content and who's watching it and what's the age um the ages that's watching the videos so i'm looking at the analytics and i'm noticing that not a lot of people is really watching my videos and all the people who so-called you know watch my videos tell me oh, i see my i seen your video and everything you're not watching throughout the whole video y'all probably watch two to three minutes of it and then that's it because I don't know if y'all got bored with it or y'all don't think it's entertaining enough. Well, one, I'm here to tell y'all a few things. One, if y'all was to interact with me and give me some good ideas of what to do with my videos, I would do it. Two, I always ask y'all questions in my videos. What do you think about this? Or do you have anything else y'all want y'all want me to say? Did I miss out on anything? Fill me in. Or if you have any ideas your own or how would you do this or do that? It depends on the subject of the day that I'm talking about. It's always good to interact with people and it's always good to ask questions. Or if you want to give me some ideas that I'm apparently missing out on, let me know. And then two, instead of y'all just watching half the video, watch the whole video. Don't that make sense to y'all? Because one, that's unfair to us. Where we're sitting here trying our asses off to entertain y'all or giving y'all proper information about something or letting y'all know what's going on in our lives, the least y'all could do is support us much better and actually interact with us and like our videos. Liking the videos is actually helping people. It's helping the video. It's helping me out a lot. Like it's helping all the other content creators out. And it... Like I say, it makes me more happier to know that people are watching my videos based on what I are learning from. Like people tell me like d details of the video of what they've been seeing and it brings joy to me because that's how I know people was actually watching my videos. If you're giving me details throughout the whole video, you tell me what's in my video and everything and what do you like about it, what you don't like about it. That actually brings a lot of joy to me because that lets me know, oh, guess what, this person is really watching my videos. And I truly appreciate for the ones that's really watching the whole video versus watching just one to three minutes of it. Um, thank you for the love and the respect. And for everybody else that's pretty much being shady. Seriously, I I have a few choice words for y'all because it's, this is... It's not like I've been on here for two or three years. I've been on here for almost five to six years now, I think. It's close to six years. And I've been busting my ass trying to find ways of trying to make the best content ever. And before I made this new round of videos that y'all see right now, I have videos I have from back in 2016 up to 2019 and I erased all of those videos. The reason why I erased all those videos because majority of the videos was based off of drama and based off of what was around me and my block every day. Like the type of neighborhoods I was living in, the peoples who I know and then I and then some people lived off the fact that drama was around me. They lived the off the fact that I was showing drama videos 
and I'm talking about real drama videos from me talking about my troubled past to my life with my exes to, you know, all types of drama that was outside. People was like really entertained about that. So that's something I didn't want to continue to keep doing because one, it wasn't really bringing me in a good light. It wasn't making me look good. And it was also making my channel look bad because everybody started to notice about it. And the one thing that that was kind of good that came out of it was the makeup videos. I started doing makeup in the middle of all of this and people started to notice. A lot more people noticed about the drama videos and they was actually liking it. People was putting LOL. People was like, oh, funny video, loved it. People was like really, you know, getting off on that. And then people was like so happy about that. I was like, how can y'all sit here and watch somebody's drama videos and be super happy or for it like it was a comedy or something it's not one of those comedy tv shows that you could enjoy off of this is something that was going on around my neighborhood a lot so for y'all to sit here and get really excited about that and not excited about the positive videos it was really pissing me off and i was trying my best not to get so angry about it so somebody was like you know what to get the right kind of audience make the right proper videos that you really want you could do entertainment you could do hair makeup whatever cooking since you like cooking so much why don't you cook for people's you know let people see how you cook on video so that's what i was doing and what i wanted to do was try to bring in audiences that's around my age and maybe older and take a good look at what it's like living in my shoes or see me on a day-to-day -day basis of what I do. So what I do is pre-record all my videos that I do throughout the week. Everything I do throughout the week, I record it then little bit by little bit and then put it on video and upload it the next week. And then another thing I said I was going to do was lower the days on how many days I was going to um, keep uploading. So what I did, I just took care of everything. Kill two birds with one stone. I might record almost every day of the week, but I won't upload it and put it on my channel until the next week. So everything I so if that makes sense to y'all. So bottom line is, everything that I do every day of the week, I'm going to record it. Let y'all know what I go through every week. And then I'm going to upload it. The next week, whether it's on the Sunday or on the Monday, I'm going to upload it. So bottom line, I'm going to upload every weekend, Saturday, Sundays, and Mondays. And I'm just going to let y'all see what I do. Okay, that's it. So that's just a little heads up I wanted to give to y'all. And please, always like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Um, Any ideas y'all want? me to do let me know don't be afraid to tell me anything it's always good to interact it's good to let's get to know each other it's always good to get to know each other please don't be a stranger and i holler at y'all this weekend